What's up, YouTube? Robert the Corner Drap here, and I am here with yet another Rob's Random Roms. Now, today we actually have a little bit of a mystery, but I think it's going to be great, in that I've been randomly selected to do uh, Pac Mania. But again, because I kind of feel like everybody knows what Pac-Man is, this is just going to be a further continuation of such a thing. So maybe I don't need to know a lot about it. Maybe I'm wrong. I probably should have looked up the wiki on this one. But yeah, it's Black Friday. Everybody's everybody's out shopping, and I have to be to work here in like an hour. So we're just going to throw this together, throw it against the wall, see what sticks. Let's head into the gameplay where we now have this game all queued up. What? Blocktown, no easy bonuses, select favorite world. Uh, alright. Welcome to Pac-Man's world. Have fun with Pac-Man. Pac-Man, let's go around, go to Blocktown. Let's go to Blocktown. Okay, so I guess this is like a, a 3D version of the good old... Ah! The original... Pac-Man, which... I don't know if it needed... A 3D version. Come on, follow me. Nom. Uh, wait, what? I ate the power pill. Your ass is supposed to be trash. I don't know what that does. Secondary power pill, maybe? Ah, got pinned. I don't know why I'm not getting any... Fun fact, folks. When you have a headset and you don't have any speakers, you should probably plug in your headset. I'm a professional. <laughs> Fruit target. Yeah, today I've got to go brave the hellscape that is uh, Home Depot, and probably it's going to be interesting, to say the very least. It's the Pac-Man Theater. What? Now there's... Nine ghosts? What the hell? And he has a jump button? Okay, yeah, that's a mechanic that I don't hate currently. Oh crap, I didn't get the power pill that I thought I did. You know, interesting give give technology on this one it's due. Wow. Smooth. What does this do? Give me more points. But, uh, no, I mean... Uh, 
I'll take I'll take that, you know. But I do have to go to work today. It's gonna be likely not fun. Cause I gotta be there till uh two thirty and I woke up at about two, so this is gonna be a full like sixteen hour day today. Maybe twenty. But thankfully I have the next uh, two days off. I don't know about Monday. I think I have to be there at 6 a.m. Oh, wait. Wow. Go away. Get deked. Oh, apparently that wasn't it. Where the hell? Oh, these three. Okay, anyway. But, yeah, no, um... I've got... I've got to do today... Let's see if I can get them all. That's a lot of points. I wouldn't, I wouldn't make it out of that one. Not with a double. But, uh, uh... Conditions met. Got there before the last the last little bit of glowy went away. He's like, no, nah, I don't want to follow you there. I don't know what goes this way. Did they figure it out? They figured out the, the, the transition? You don't... Don't jack with me. I'll eat with you. I'll eat you. Ah! That ghost is fast. But I, uh... I don't think we need to continue. I, I really... Well, let's check the... Yeah, one more. It got there. We'll do a little... We'll, we'll do one sudden death life. But, uh... No, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go to work today. It's not gonna be a lot of fun, cause there are a lot of handymans who like to come in on Black Friday and enjoy all the sales that we put out. And. I'm not against such a thing on its face. You kept fall you had to keep following me, didn't you, Blue? Wow. Deeked him there. Follow me, ghosts. Ghostses. Ghostses.
I think there used to be like a, a one ghost in particular that would like reset dots or something, or maybe that was just Jack and Daxter. They had a, a, a Pac-Man esque ah, they had a Pac-Man esque level in Jack and Daxter that I really quite liked. Alt X. Yes, I'm sure I don't want to be playing anymore because I mean it's it's Pac-Man. There's not really a whole bunch that you're gonna do to uh, upset the formula because people know what Pac-Man is. People people have gotten used to that over the years, and Pac-Man is amazing. There's there's no there's no denying that. But. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, for all of those who are traveling today, and for all of those who are shopping this day, two things. One, please travel safely. And two, realize that you're having a hard day. You're, I know, we, we know you're looking for a certain thing, because you want to get that, because you're looking to shop for somebody, you're looking to get it for yourself because they get good deals on Black Friday, but also because it's important to say it, realize that you are away from, you are there of your own choice. You made the decision to go out to these places and shop. We didn't. We got told by the corporation that employs us, hey, we want you here here, at X hour in the morning to do this job. Is it fun? Hell no. We, we're working for our paychecks. And to be honest, we probably would be doing the same thing you would be doing, or you're doing, in... The, the light of, or the idea of uh, putting out, or putting ourselves out there and, and going shopping. Myself, I'd be sleeping right now. I would not even care. I wouldn't be doing anything. Maybe cooking, but I doubt it. Because I'm lazy and I probably wouldn't start cooking until about, maybe noonish because my friends and I are going to do a friends Thanksgiving uh, today it's gonna be a lot of fun so be careful be human be very kind to those whose day is spent behind a register doesn't matter what what industry it is you could be going to McDonald's, you could be going to Best Buy, you could be going to Walmart, you could be going to a hardware store, it doesn't matter. If they're open and you're there, say thank you. Just turn around and thank them for showing up, for doing a good job, for being positive, and hell, as always, tip your, tip your cart guys. If you've got something heavy, tip your cart guy. Give him a couple bucks. He's probably running his ass off. The, and I remember working that job. It was a pain in the ass. Hated it. You can't tip the you can't tip the, the cashiers because they won't take it. Cause they make damn good money anyway. Or at least I do. I wouldn't I wouldn't take a tip for being a cashier at my job. But if I was a cashier at Starbucks, if I was if I was a lot loader at any place that you need help getting this into your car and tying shit down and and making it safe for you to travel, give them money. Give them a little something extra more than you w would normally if you if you tip. So, but for me to you. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, travel safe on this Black Friday. Like, comment, subscribe, share. 
there's a bell down there for notifications. I do this every single day, 364 days of the year. I'm planning on taking one day off, and that's Christmas. I might take New Year's. I, I don't know yet. We don't know what we're doing. So, And I will see you all next time.